Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video I have a very very fun and exciting video uh, for you guys. Uh, basically, we're going to be looking at the best uh, deep webs or darknet search engines out there. So basically, I've I've got about four that I think are the best uh, search engines that you can get. Uh, one of them that you might want to include is DuckDuckGo, but it's not the best for the deep uh, for the deep web or the darknet. Now, the first one I'm going to start with is uh, Amir or A H M I A. I don't know how you can pronounce it, but basically, this is my personal favorite because of how many results it uh, turns up. So let's say I want to search about. Um, let's say uh let's say a conspiracy theory so let me just let me just type a conspiracy theory let's just search a very very simple a generic and as you can see it's going to give uh it's going to give the thing i like is it's very well designed it it basically has a very clean user interface it displays the results in 0 0.05 seconds all right uh, it has statistics it has you can basically use an i2p search which um which you really don't need to know what uh, it is right now. Um, it basically then indexes them according to uh, to their relevancy and wh whether or not they are online and uh, um, uh, basically how old they are. As you know, and as I've mentioned in previous videos, uh, basically sites on the deep web will usually find sites that most of the sites will not work and are not active. And if you are, the, the real challenge is finding sites that are active. So let's try the first one and let's see what we can get out of this one just to show that the results are indeed uh, active and the sites that you'll find through this search engine are the best. So uh, basically we have the sports conspiracy brainwashed from birth uh, by Dr. Marcus Driver. Well, there's some pretty interesting stuff here. Nothing is so permeating in American culture as sports. We are exposed to competition based on physical struggles for dominance, aka athletics. Uh, well, I'm really not going to go into any of this. But basically, this has been Amaya or Amia, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is a very, very good search engine that I would recommend really. I would really highly recommend this search engine. The second one on my list is Candle. Now, Candle is a very minimalistic um, search engine. As you can see, it's it's basically uh, got inspiration from Google. And that's why it's using the different the Google color scheme. And it basically has a tagline saying no parentheses, no Boolean operators, no quotes, just words. So it's basically telling you to just search for whatever you want to you want to get. So uh, let's try and search for um, let's try again and search for conspiracy uh, theory, conspiracy theory. And let's see what it uh, returns. All right. So you can see it basically giving it's basically giving different uh, different results, as you can see on this one. We got different results and on candle we got uh, different results so as you can see there are some differences and it's going to basically show results uh, it's showing 20 out of 69 of 97 of 204 so basically it's indexed by in pages now talking about the way it displays it it's a, it has a back uh, it has a black theme so that's very nice on and easy on the eyes it also gives a description it gives a nice description and uh, has it basically has the, an index as to when uh, the, the site was was up. So this is very, very nice because it actually gives the latest sites uh, as compared to Amaya that gives that sorts by relevance. But candle will sort by by time um, by time that it was updated or activated. So let's click on this and let's see what we get. And hopefully this link is still up or it has uh, actually has uh, had some downtime. All right. So. It's basically forwarded us to Intel Exchange where we have some uh, conspiracy theory um, forum right here. Intel Exchange, by the way, is a very, very popular forum on the deep web. I will make a separate video on Intel Exchange because it's a really, really good uh, forum for you to basically express how you feel, really. Um, but that's basically um, Candle. So Candle uh, is a very, very good um, search engine. And by the way, this all comes down to personal preference, really. Everything is up to you and uh, whatever you deem comfortable for yourself. The third one is not not evil. Uh, basically, not evil uh, is a very simplistic search engine uh, that basically gives you uh, the ability to index whatever you're searching in terms of titles, URLs, or you can use both. All right, so uh, you can basically uh, search uh, for for uh, keywords. So I'm going to basically search for conspiracy 
theory. I'm just going to be using this just to show the differences between the two search, the three or uh, and other search engines that we're going to get to in a few moments. So I'm going to make sure it's uh, it's using uh, titles and I'm going to search and let's see what results it uh, turns up for us. All right. So as you can see, there's, there's some stuff that's kind of different here and uh, uh, you'll find something, maybe we have something here in Russian and uh, this, uh, the, basically it's, it doesn't, um, my, in my opinion, it doesn't sort everything in a very neat way or an intuitive way that uh, people are accustomed to, especially when it comes to search engines. That would probably be the, the only down, uh, the only thing down about this uh, search engine. Um, it's called not evil. So let's actually try and open this link right here and let's see what it uh, gives us. It's uh, in Russian. So I'm guessing it's going to be in Russian. It's opening an onion site. It does give uh, a last response date. That means when it was last uh, pinged active. Uh, let's see what it gives us here. It's taking quite a while to load. Probably a big page. All right. So yeah, as I said, this is a Russian website and it looks like a it looks like it's a download website for, I think, a film or something. So really nothing. As you can see, they give varied results. And it, again, it all comes down to what search engine will give you what you want. So that's basically it for not evil. By the way, the links will be attached to a uh, to a to a resource folder in, in, in this section. So you can basically check these links and uh, see them for yourselves. Uh, now going on to the fourth uh, search engine is Grams. Now Grams is basically a search engine that will allow you to search the dark web markets. Now, I will, I'm, the next video is probably going to be about the dark web or the deep web markets. And this will basically allow you to index all of them. So let's try and see uh, maybe something, well, what you would expect to be sold on the dark web markets. For example, can, uh, let, let's try a very popular one, uh, cannabis. Let's search for gram search. By the way, talking about the interface, it is again, uh, it has inspiration from Google and uh, it has a very nice logo here, as you can see, basically giving you an idea of what it's all about, really. It's about basically the markets that that deal with narcotics and stuff like that. Again, I don't um, I don't encourage any of this or condone any of this. But again, it's up to you, uh, really, whatever you want to do. But anyway, uh, let's basically give that a search and let's see what it returns us. All right, so um, it's returned an advanced search in and it gives you the amount of time it took to search. Um, it has some very cool uh, statistics here that I'll get to in a second. So basically, it's going to highlight um, it's going to highlight this, these two search results, which I'm guessing are sponsored and it'll give you the vendor, the price in terms of Bitcoin and the location in which you can in which this thing, uh, this company or vendor is located. So 25 bottles of canazine i'm really not going to click on any of these links because that's not the focus of this video but you basically get the idea all right so grams is a is basically a dark web uh a market uh, search engine and you basically get the idea you can search for anything on the dark web markets pretty cool uh, the last search engine uh in my in in this video is going to be torch and uh, I, we, I, we, we basically took a very brief look at Torch in the previous video. Torch is, a, is as simple as it gets. All right. So basically it has these weird uh, links over here, the Tor warehouse and basically what, what I, uh, they basically look like advertisements here. So it's going to say hacking services. And really, if you want to click on these links, it's, it's up to you really. So again, let's search for conspiracy theory. All right. Let's give that a search. And uh, it's uh, returned a conspiracy theory uh, right here called the chemtrail conspiracy theory. I don't know whether you guys are fans of conspiracy theories, but uh, this is a very popular one. Most probably it's going to be um, it's going to be from. All right. So there we are. As you can see, this is what I'm talking about, uh, search engine. And this is why I really don't like uh, Torch, because even though it has a good, uh, fairly good user interface um you can basically uh sort it by the last modified date which we, we can actually try right now and see if the results that it gives us are good in any way and as you can see we clicked on this link and it told us that it does not exist so again 
it's all about whether or not a search engine can give you what you're looking for. In my opinion, Armia is the best search engine and I would recommend it to you. Again, the links will be in the resources folder attached to this section. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys found value in this video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the Q&A section of the course. Thanks so much for watching.